Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my second YouTube video coming back again with my content. If you watched my last video, I really appreciate you um, taking the time to watch it, like watch me cry for 20 minutes, but I promise I'm okay. I cry whenever I'm just passionate about something, whether I'm happy or sad, so no need to be concerned. Like, like I said in the last video, I am going to be making a gluten and dairy free Cajun chicken pasta and I'm so excited about it. But before we get into that, one update I forgot to mention last video is Peyton and I did buy a house a few months back. So we are so excited about it. We've been loving it. We just love our neighborhood. We love our house and it's just everything that we want for our first home. It's like the perfect time of day. It's like seven o'clock and the sun when it sets, it sets in the back of the house and it has such a pretty like golden hour. So look at this. Oh my God, I don't know if you can see it. So my disco ball on my bar cart. Oh my God, look how cute. It makes like a reflection all over the ceiling and the walls. I love it. It's so adorable. Oh, don't mind all that. We we're hit the paint over that. But um, I am obsessed with this. Like my girlfriend's got this for me for my housewarming and I'm I'm so in love with it. So yeah, I got the recipe. It's a Cajun chicken pasta and I'm making it gluten and dairy free. Like I said in my last videos, I got diagnosed with Hashimoto's. So gluten and dairy is a hard no for me, but you can still eat things that you love. You just have to swap out certain items, but it literally tastes the same as if it wasn't gluten and dairy free, if not better. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make it and I will link the recipe below. So. Let's get started. All right, y'all, to get started, you're just gonna need one orange bell pepper, one yellow bell pepper. Uh, you're gonna cut up half of a yellow onion, three cloves of garlic, some chicken broth, and tomato paste, and of course your chickens. Um, I did defrost these all day today, so that's why they're in this, because the juices come out somehow, which I don't know how that happens, but I don't want juices all over my fridge, so that and then I'll get into the spices like once we actually start cooking because most of the spices everybody already has so um it's not like you need to go out and buy it also look at this glowy golden hour this is a vibe and I freaking love my house like I cannot believe me and Peyton are homeowners I'm so excited about it and also you're gonna need some cashews by the way they have to like sit in water for at least 30 minutes to an hour or if you're in a time crunch like i am i just boil them and letting them sit in the hot water for a little bit so they soften use my okay chicken breast i'm gonna go ahead and just butterfly it i guess you call it or just cut it like in half and then cut off like these little fat pieces and while you're doing this you're gonna um go ahead and set your the cast iron skillet or any skillet that you have to uh, about like a medium high heat so you can get like a nice sear and I'm gonna go ahead and transfer these over to a plate and I'm literally just gonna season these with some Cajun seasoning so I like to use this Tony Chacher Ch Chachers I don't know Tony Chachers I don't know how you say this someone correct me please but this uh, Creole Cajun seasoning is my favorite it's like almost gone I put it on everything and also go ahead and rub it in. Then you're gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil into the pan. I like to be generous with it because I like to make my stuff crispy. While it's cooking, we're gonna go and just chop up the peppers, onions, and garlic. One thing I forgot is you're gonna need the, uh, this uh, gluten-free pasta. So this, <coughs> oh my God. This one's my favorite. It is the Jovial gluten-free penne. And it is so fire. It doesn't even taste like it's not gluten. Like it tastes like regular pasta, if not better. Like I love it. So you're gonna need one box of this depending on how much you're serving. Like this is like six servings. So I'm just gonna do this and then I might add more. Um, I'll see how much it comes out to though. The chicken is looking good. Chicken's still 
cooking. <coughs> oh my god. But I overcooked my chicken because I just like to be sure. I don't know why I don't have a chicken like thermometer yet, but I need to get one. Once they're done cooking, I'm gonna transfer them to a plate and then I'm gonna just saute the onions, peppers, and garlic for a few minutes until they get like tender. So we'll do that. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up. If it starts to get brown, you can add a little bit of water to help like soften it up so it doesn't get too burnt. Cook it on a, for a few more minutes on like a medium low heat, I'd say. The top part is still pretty hot from the chicken, so I'm trying to get it to cool down a bit. Y'all, and of course, I'm all over the place today, so don't mind me, but you're gonna take your pasta and, and boil it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in uh, two tablespoons of tomato paste into this, uh, as well as some more Cajun seasoning. Now that's all done cooking, you're just gonna move it off the heat while we make the pasta sauce. All right, here's my, nas my nasty looking cashews. I have to drain them. Uh, they're now soft so I can make the sauce. All right, so now we're gonna make the sauce, which I'm really excited about. So I don't know if you can see in the background, Peyton's watching my first, uh, my first video back. So it's so supportive and I'm watching it here too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed with your son. <laughs> So you're gonna take your boiled cashews, it's three fourths of a cup that's boiled, you're gonna put them in a blender. And then we're gonna put in some bone broth, nutritional yeast, salt and pepper, um, and we're gonna blend it up. All the measurements and everything are gonna be in the description for the recipe. is all mixed up and it should look like this. Now we're gonna return our pan back on and put it on medium low heat and we're gonna add all the chicken, the pasta, and the sauce and let it simmer for a little bit. Here is, oops. so here is the final look. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Peyton and I are gonna do a quick taste test and give you a live review. All right, it looks so yummy. Oh, there's some bell peppers in there, baby. Oh, okay. Thank you for all you do. All right, cheers. Mmm. So far. Mmm. Looks really good, yeah. That's really good. Oh. The sauce is like so creamy. I like, the, like that it's made out of cashews because it gives the sauce like such a nutty flavor. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, like a nice little cake. Yeah. Wow, you can't even tell. Whatever. Oh, yeah. I can never really tell that it's gluten free whenever you make your mm -mm. meal, so. Oh my god. And the meals are gluten free. That's great. That is so fire. Oh my gosh. 10 out of 10. Like, the recipe that I found online looks so good. Like, in the pictures, I'm like, alright, well, sometimes it looks really good in the pictures, and then when you actually make it, like, looks nothing like that. It doesn't taste anything like it looks, but this is bomb. So this is definitely gonna be a new staple in our house. Agreed. All right guys, so that was the end of my video. Um, I'm gonna link the whole recipe below. Um, and I'll also try to link like exactly what products that I use, you know, for, for the substitutes, like the gluten-free pasta, 
um, the nutritional yeast, all of that. So I hope it helps, but let me know in the comments if you guys do try it. So this one's definitely a new staple in our house. Uh, you know, Peyton's over here growing ham. I haven't put it down. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. Bye guys.